Imagine the miracle of it. Whatever our Church calling, we can pray to our Heavenly Father and receive guidance and direction, be warned about dangers and distractions, and be enabled to accomplish things we simply could not do on our own. If we will truly receive the Holy Ghost and learn to discern and understand His promptings, we will be guided in matters large and small. When I recently faced the daunting task of choosing two counselors, I wondered how I could possibly choose just two from twelve men whom I love and respect because I know that good inspiration is based upon good information, I prayerfully met one-on-one -on -one with each apostle. I then sequestered myself in a private room in the temple and sought the Lord's will. I testify that the Lord instructed me to select President Dallin H. Oaks and President Henry B. Eyring to serve as my counselors in the First Presidency. In like manner, I testify that the Lord inspired the call of Elder Garrett W. Gong and Elder Ulysses Suarez to be ordained as his apostles. I and we welcome them to this unique brotherhood of service. When we convene as a Council of the First Presidency and Quorum of the Twelve, our meeting rooms become rooms of revelation the Spirit is palpably present. As we wrestle with complex matters, a thrilling process unfolds as each apostle freely expresses his thoughts and point of view. Though we may differ in our initial perspectives, the love we feel for each other is constant. Our unity helps us to discern the Lord's will for His Church. In our meetings, the majority never rules. We listen prayerfully to one another and talk with each other until we are united. Then, when we have reached complete accord, the unifying influence of the Holy Ghost is spine-tingling. We experience what the Prophet Joseph Smith knew when he taught by union of feeling, we obtain power with God. No member of the First Presidency or Quorum of the Twelve would ever leave decisions for the Lord's Church to his own best judgment.